What's going on, where you at? Your motivation guy is back. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Listen, I'm here to bring you guys the latest and greatest tips and tricks to make you the best Fortnite player you could possibly be. With the arrival of Season 2, we have some brand new additions that are absolutely game-changing. If you guys thought sliding was a cool feature, just wait until you see what's possible using the new tactical sprint and mantle mechanics. With these new features, you can defy game physics that have been in place since the very beginning of Fortnite. You are not going to want to miss this. Hey, it's about that time. Get my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that bunch of crunch and let's get this going. All right, so outside of consumable items, there has never been a mechanic in Fortnite that allows you to run faster than a typical full sprint. The brand new tactical sprint mechanic allows you to run almost twice as fast as one would in a full sprint. Although you're pretty limited to the angle that you can strafe at, this feature is a great option for avoiding storm damage and escaping your opponent when you're low on the health. Not only that, you can also combine the tactical sprint with the mantle to make super far leaps we've never been able to do before. And uh, you know, it's just definitely going to be interesting to really see how pros use this mechanic and stacked in games. The possibility for making quick storm plays this season are absolutely insane considering items like the med miss and floppers are still in the game. And so the tactical sprint lasts for approximately five seconds and takes only six seconds to fully recharge. This means movement around the map is going to speed up substantially. Do you guys still think that this is going to lead to lobbies dying out quicker due to how fast everyone is moving around? Or do you think that lobbies are going to last longer since people can just run away easier? Let us know in the comments down below. This mechanic is honestly pretty balanced as it is you know considering you can't build shoot or heal while in a tactical sprint but you know it's likely that epic is going to make some adjustments to the recharge time after the community provides some feedback all right, so along with the tactical sprint, we received the mantle mechanic. Mantling is a feature that, you know, plenty of other games include, such as Call of Duty and Battlefield. Mantling is basically when you pull yourself up into an elevated surface instead of jumping over. This addition of this mechanic into Fortnite is going to change the way the game is played forever. There are so many different things you could pull off, you know, while mantling that have never been possible before. And if you thought that the skill gap in Fortnite was close to being reached, <laughs> you're definitely in for a surprise. Once you see the broken moves and tricks that we have for you guys today. All right, we got to get into this. The first play on our list using the new mantle feature is the double edit mantle peak. When done correctly, this peak allows you to have an absolutely insane angle on your enemy without being seen hardly at all. Okay, so your cone will phase as you peek, making it extremely difficult for your enemy to trade shots with you. After taking your peak, you're gonna fall right back into your box surrounded by full protection. From here, and I mean like right here, you can attempt to finish off your opponent with some peace control if you're able to hit them hard enough. This is gonna be a play that you wanna do when someone is pushing your box. You know, as they run up, place a cone at your feet and double edit the cone and floor pieces directly above you. Now jump straight up and activate your mantle bind. Once you have entered the mantle animation and your body is about halfway through your floor, just quickly reset your cone piece. If you're done at the right time, your mantle will cancel, allowing you to pull out your shotgun and go for a shot while you are phased in your reset cone. After this, you're gonna fall back down into your box. So this is gonna be a peak that you're gonna see pros do all the time this season. This play literally requires zero mats outside of the box you already built and can be done multiple times in a single fight if your opponent is struggling to counter it. Obviously, as players adapt throughout the season and become more aware of peaks like this, you're gonna find yourself getting predicted by advanced players, but you know, for the time being, this peak is definitely something that nobody has seen before and can be used in both creative and in game, all right? All right, so this next trick using the mantle mechanic might just change the game as we know it. This trick is gonna allow you to avoid absolutely all fall damage from any height. Ever since items like bouncers and crash pads were vaulted, there has been no consistent way to avoid taking fall damage. Of course, you can sometimes get lucky by bailout, placing a launch pad right as you hit the ground, but this is just pretty hard to line up and also requires you to be holding a launch pad in the first place, right? Which is something like we wanna save for the end game at all costs. So just pull this off, guys. All right, all you need to do is turbo build two walls walls off of the ground and just mantle on the top wall right as you approach it. And don't worry, like you don't need to perfectly time your mantle bind either. If you hold down your mantle bind as you fall, you're going to automatically mantle as you approach the wall you place. And this is going to cancel out any fall damage that you were meant to take and provide you a safe landing. And so this trick is going to require you guys to, you know, have a solid understanding of the Fortnite grid system as you're going to have to be positioned perfectly against your walls in order to be within the mantle reach. You know, this trick can be learned in only a few minutes in a creative island. Start by just trying to land the mantle from only a few layers up. And so once you get comfortable with the timing and positioning, keep just trying to pull the trick off from greater heights. And so the mantle is going to be more challenging to pull off the higher you fall from. But with some grinding man and creative, I'm telling you right now, you're going to be able to save yourself from any height in a real match. 
1v1 build fights and creative are one of the best ways to practice your fighting and building skills. You know, most pros are gonna include at least 20 minutes of build fights against advanced players in their warm-up routine to really hone their fighting skills in a fast-paced environment. You know, we all know that getting the initial high ground in a build fight can be a huge advantage. So we need to make sure that our start is as fast as possible. And so prior to this season, you know, most players who meet their opponent at the center after completing two 90s in an attempt to triple edit and claim that middle wall first. Now with the new mantle mechanic, there is a new strategy to most optimally get the initial high ground while, you know, avoiding taking any damage. And so the move is pretty simple, but might take some practice to get timing and positioning down. Like you just start by just doing the classic two 90s after going out one ramp. So after your 90s, place a ramp and cone in front of you towards your opponent. Instead of just triple editing through the cone like most players do, mantle on top of the cone you place and place walls to protect yourself as soon as you can. This method is going to give you guys an additional layer of height in comparison to somebody not taking advantage of the mantle feature. From here, you should have high ground and you're going to be able to play the rest of the fight like you normally would. All right, so the thing that most of you guys are going to find difficult about this move is being able to avoid jump fatigue while still being able to hit the mantle. And so to avoid running into jump fatigue, all right, we recommend that you jump on your first 90, but you know, do a walking 90 on your second one. This is going to put you in a much better position to enter the mantle and have, you know, no chance of experiencing any slowdowns, okay? If you position yourself well off of the first 90, walking the second one shouldn't be any slower than it would be to jump it. And so since we're going to be gaining an additional layer of height from the cone mantle, it really won't be an issue. Obviously, you're not going to just find yourself in a perfectly positioned 1v1 in a real game. Well, maybe sometimes, but I mean, you can definitely still use the same cone mantle move when ramping towards an opponent. And so being able to be smooth with your mantle is going to allow you to keep your momentum in fights and give you guys better chances of surviving when you're on little to no mats. All right, so the final trick that we got for you guys today is without a doubt, like the most challenging move on our list. Since the mantle mechanic is so new, like we don't know if retakes like this are gonna consistently hold up against advanced players, but getting used to using the mantle is gonna really improve your mechanical ability overall and expand your arsenal. All right, guys, so to do this retake, start by positioning yourself for a side jump. Place a wall through your cone on whichever side you wish to jump from. And as you make the jump, try to stay as close to the wall as you possibly can. And so once you're near the wall, make a middle wind edit and just immediately mantle into it. About three-fourths way into the mantle animation, reset your wall and mantle to the top. Finally, land on a floor and immediately jump while placing walls and a ramp to protect yourself. Although it's not like completely protected from all angles, this retake is going to allow you to gain two layers of height and only one jump, something that has never been possible in Fortnite prior to this season. You know, this retake is only one example of how you can use the mantle to gain extra layers of height on your opponent. So get in creative, try out some new moves involving the mantle just to see what you can come up with. And you never know, man, you might just create a move nobody has ever seen before. But you guys tell me where you at, your motivation guys back. Hope you guys liked the video. If you guys did, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Spread the word to all your friends, man, because it is going down. Also, feel free to leave a comment and just let us know if there's anything that you'd be interested in, you know, learning more about. You know, the mantle mechanic is something that is gonna change the way people play Fortnite. And so there are endless possibilities in regard to this feature, and we really only cover the surface in today's video. So let us know if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. I believe in you. I am your number one fan. So keep going, keep grinding, keep trying. You fall down. You get back up. Connect with my Instagram at your motivation guy. I'll see you soon. Peace.